Hi guys, I just thought I'd do a quick video comparing Amplitude 4 to the newly released Amplitude 5 by IK Multimedia. I used Amplitude 4 recently a lot there on a project I just finished. I wrote a book for beginner to intermediate guitarists, so if you're interested in that, you can click on the links below. If not, we'll just go through this and compare the two versions. I'll be using my Strat and I'll also use my Gibson Les Paul. We'll go through a few different sounds and compare the old and the new version. So just a quick explanation about how I have this set up. I have my guitar coming in here on this track and then I have two buses. Bus one, it will be Amplitude 4 and bus two will be Amplitude 5. And I will switch between these by muting the channel. So it'll be the opposite to what is muted. So when Amplitude 5 is muted, obviously you're hearing Amplitude 4. And then when I mute bus one, Amplitude 5 on bus 2 will be heard. So each amp I have set up the exact same in terms of tone and volume. So here we're comparing how American Tube Clean 1 sounds on the both versions. Here at my Strat, so here's a few chords first. Tube 5. Some single line stuff. So here we're looking at a Fender Super Reverb. Seems like the generically named amps in Amplitude 4 do sound drastically different between version 4 and 5. So I said we'd look at an amp that is meant to be modelled on a particular amp. That way we can hear the difference between 4 and 5 as well. So starting with Amplitude 4. <laughs> Okay, so let's listen to a couple of pedals in here as well. So you can see the interface is a little bit different. In Amplitude 4, you have your signal chain up here, running in up to your stomp A, stomp B, and you can reroute in different ways here. It's going through stomp B to your amp, follow the yellow line to cab A into your rack and out. In Amplitude 5, you can see your signal chain down here, much clearer, and you can click on things as you need them. So it's actually a quick, little bit easier to get through your signal chain and change things. So let's turn on the OCD here. So starting with Amplitude 4. <laughs> Let's have a look at a Tube Screamer. 
I'll turn the boat on here. <laughs> jumping back to the amp so an amplitude 4 you see you need to click up here to get back to my amp whereas down here you can actually see where you are much easier and let's try out the tremolo in amplitude 4 you can see as you turn the dials the numbers are down here below it but in amplitude 5 you can see that the number pops up above it so it's actually a little bit easier to see as you're turning here we have the amp with the tremolo on. Let's have a look at British Tube Lead 1. This is obviously based on a Marshall amp. So the generically named amps, you'll notice the biggest difference between. So let's just have a listen to this. <laughs> Metal Lead 5, another generically named amp. Let's see the difference here. Put a bit of bass into that compared to the other one. Bass back where it was. Let's go to the neck pickup. So lastly, let's look at the Soldano 100 watt amp. Just showing you this one, because obviously this is based on a real amp out there in the world. So we'll hear the differences are probably a little less. <laughs>
let's just have a quick listen with a delay pedal. So turning on this delay pedal on both amps. With amplitude five, you do get a couple of extra delay pedals. It looks like there is a DD3 or DD2 style delay in here as well, but let's just use the same delays that came with amplitude four as well. <laughs> So you can hear a big difference between amplitude four and five there. For me, amplitude five just sounds a little bit clearer and more hi-fi. You might think there was less bass in the amplitude five. I think it's just clearer. And I think if you want that bottom end back, it's very easy to dial it back. I had everything pretty much set at five on all the amps there. Big thing is when you're playing it, if you have your headphones on, I feel that amplitude five sounds more realistic amp like it sounds like you're in the room with a with an amplifier whereas amplitude 4 sounds a little less it just sounds a bit more kind of two-dimensional if that makes any sense and, and under your fingers when you're playing just feels a bit more amp like so when you pick lighter and pick harder it just seems to react more like an amp would so do I think it's worth the upgrade? Yes, there is a free version, so it's very easy to try out. I think you get a couple of amps. Uh, I've been using it for a couple of years now, so I'm very happy with the upgrade. One little note, if you have projects in Amplitude 4 and then you start uh, moving your projects across Amplitude 5, you'll find that you may need to adjust the levels, the microphone levels and microphone placements by default are different in Amplitude 5. And like I was saying earlier, the overall level dynamic level is seems to be larger so sometimes that can come off as quieter so you may just need to adjust your levels a little bit if you're transferring projects over all right guys i hope you enjoy that please like and subscribe and click below on the links below if you want to find out about my book for beginner to intermediate guitar lessons and please leave any comments about any more videos you'd like to see below thank you mm -hmm.